Hey everyone, the objectives of this video are to define transient or charging discharging systems and to provide the relevant equation for these systems. So, so far we have been looking at our steady state, steady flow processes. So from our open system analysis, if you go back, you will find that the mass flow rate in will equal to the mass flow rate out and there are no changes that occur within our control volumes. Furthermore, they also, these systems that we have been looking at, also occur over indefinite periods of time. So if you look back at the open system uh, first law analysis, we have the equation Q dot minus work dot is equal to uh, the sum of the mass flow rates out times by this term here minus the sum of the mass flow rates in times by their respective enthalpies, kinetic energies and potential energies. Now in this situation, as you can see, is it's Q dot work dot and uh, m dot, we are working in terms of our rates. So this is the kilojoules per second or kilowatts. This is in kilograms per second. So the period, the periods of time are actually not defined at all. How, so what happens when we actually do have our defined periods of time and then after this defined period of time, things are sort of closed off or open, for example? What we have then are transient systems, which, in, which are actually unsteady flow processes. So uh, there are changes within the control volume and furthermore they are also defined over the periods of time. So we no longer work in rates and as such uh, we will uh, not be working in terms of a uh, mass flow rate or uh, the, work, the energy transferred um, rate. Rather we will be looking at the total energy transferred when we have a certain situation. So. They are somewhat similar to the closed systems. If you look back at our closed system analysis, we were not uh, working in terms of uh, rates. Rather, we were working in terms of defined values and defined processes over defined times. So, they are rather similar to these closed systems. However, the key difference as to why they, are, they aren't closed systems is the basic fact that the mass within the boundary of the system can change within these transient systems. So the equation that we will be using for this uh, situation is as follows. Uh, we won't be uh, looking at the derivation of this equation. You can look that up in your own time if it interests you. However, basically what it's saying is that the, the heat transfer minus the work transfer plus the sum of mass in times by the, this value over here minus the mass out times by that value there is equal to the mass at the second state times by that value there minus the mass at the first state times by that value over there. So in order to illustrate exactly how this works in terms of a charging system, uh, we look at the following diagram. Now, quickly to define what a charging system is, what we have over here is a pipe, and over here we have a tank, and they are separated by a valve. So essentially through this pipe that we have over here, there's going to be some sort of a steady flow of uh, some fluid and within this tank over here we have uh, we could either have nothing or we could have a whole bunch of um, fluid within it and the valve is, is just going to um, separate the two and if we open the valve then the two will be connected and if we close the valve then this system becomes closed. So the system that we are interested in uh, is never going to be the pipe it's actually rather the tank over here and this control volume of the tank is not actually as defined as I have drawn it out to be. It can change due to the fact that if the valve opens, then of course the control volume has also changed slightly. So for charging systems, uh, we will have uh, we won't have anything within this tank, and basically the pipe, the fluid within the pipe is going to charge the tank within here. So it's going to put in some fluid within this tank, and over a set period of time. Uh, the valve is going to open and then after some time has elapsed the valve will close and then we'll do our analysis. And similarly discharging systems is when we have a whole bunch of fluid within here and then we open the valve and we let that fluid out until it's empty or until another set period of time. So if you look back at the equation over here we have this Q minus W. So the Q will depend on whether or not the tank or this area is insulated and the W will depend on whether or not there is some capability of external work to be uh, done. So if there's like an electrical wire or, somewhat, or something. 
the mass in, so say uh, if it's a charging system, then there's going to be a mass that goes in, so a mass that comes from the pipe and that goes into the tank, and since it's defined, it's not going to need to be a mass flow rate, rather it just has to be the total mass in, times by the whatever the enthalpy is um, of the fluid coming in, plus the kinetic energy of the fluid coming in, and the potential energy of the fluid coming in, and minus the fluid that's going out. Now, this in our charging system, there won't be any fluid going out, but in a discharging system, there will be some fluid going out from the tank into the pipe. And then over here, we have M2 and M1, and the uh, internal energy and the kinetic energy and the potential energy in uh, states 2 and 1. This is referring to our set defined period of time. Uh, at state 1, it's basically, if it's a charging system, a state 1 is going to have like nothing in it and if it's a discharging system then at state 1 will have a lot in it and if it's a charging system if it, um, at state 2 is going to have uh, some, some something in it and at state th uh, 2 if it's a discharging system it will have it won't have uh, anything in it so essentially what we're going to do is we're going to look at the uh, internal energy and the potential energy the kinetic energy at these certain sta states of time just like we have done just like we did in the uh, closed system analysis um, earlier cut study time with concise video summaries by top students visit spoonfeedme.com to view more free videos in this course and hundreds of others